hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Savannah and in today's video I'm gonna be doing something that I haven't done in quite a while which is a goodwill trip so I did this last fall and you guys really seemed to like that video so I figured why not take advantage and do it again this year I haven't been to this goodwill honestly probably since then I just don't really go very often but I thought that it would be a great time to go again because we are starting to transition from summer into fall which you guys know that I'm very excited about I love fall fashion so much and I just really enjoy it a lot so I figured why not try and do a Goodwill haul again but specifically more towards like fall or autumn whatever you want to call it ideas as far as clothing pieces so I'm gonna be looking around today and see if I can find anything I am gonna try and vlog while I'm in there so that way you guys can like see if I'm finding anything or not it's kind of hard with thrift stores because it's kind of it can be a, a big hit or a big miss it really just kind of depends on the day that you go on the time that is what we're up to today but if you guys have not yet please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel down below seriously helps me out so much as well as go follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. and without further ado let's just go ahead and go on into Goodwill this is the first piece that I have to share with you guys so I actually picked out several different blazers in this little haul I really did like this one quite a lot but sadly it was just a little too tight in the arms for me and I really did like the pattern though and everything else looked really nice it actually did have some shoulder pads which was quite the theme for this haul um, I did think it looked really good but yeah it was just sadly a little too tight in the arms good find though for the price and everything and was very impressed especially for the first item next up is this also a really cute blazer and you guys i was 100 percent obsessed with this but i just didn't love it on as much as i thought i would i was 100 percent getting danielle carolyn vibes if you guys watch her vlogs you guys know that she is obsessed with kelly green and i thought this color was seriously gorgeous but i just didn't really know how i would style it personally i didn't love the top as much i thought it was going to be like more so of a blazer fit and it was um, more so true to size but how However, it was a super cute color and I thought it was really different and unique. Now, however, this blazer I feel like was absolutely perfect. It fit me really nicely in the arms. It was a nice light cream color, which I feel like really flows well into my wardrobe. So I did end up purchasing this one. I was super pleased with it. It does have shoulder pads, of course, like any old traditional blazer would, but I really do like this overall look as well with the pockets and honestly think that it would be a great staple for me for my work wardrobe as well. You guys, I'm telling you, they were killing the game in the blazer section the day that I decided to come. But sadly, once again, this one was just a little too tight in the arms for me. I did think that this was a pretty good fit. Otherwise, though, it's a good staple black uh, blazer for your everyday wardrobe next up is this gray cropped sweater so I'm pretty sure that this is actually from Chico's and I did end up buying this as well it is a ribbed material and it is a little bit of a thinner sweater which I do personally like because I'm all about layering in the fall and winter because I do run pretty hot naturally so I really enjoy layering whenever I can and I thought that this looked really good very comfortable and you could easily dress this up or down with like a pair of leggings and tennis shoes or jeans and a really cute hat I thought that this would just going to be really a good staple for my wardrobe especially in the fall and winter months I was able to find one flannel and this one is actually from the women's department typically I find my flannels in the men's department but I thought that this one was kind of cute however I did not love that it I do show like a detail right here but it does have like some silver lining through here which I thought was kind of different but I ended up not purchasing this one just because I didn't know really how often I would wear it but it was really cute though I did think that it was like kind of nice now looking back I kind of regret not buying it honestly just because I could always use another flannel in my wardrobe 
Next up, I have this really cute mustard top, and I really did like this one as well, which I'm showing you right here. I'm so sad I didn't realize that there was a stain on this shirt, or else I would have 100% have bought it, just because, again, I think that it is a really good staple, but yeah, I'm, sadly, there was just a stain on there, and I'm sure it hadn't been washed, and it would have been pretty hard for to get it out, but I did really like this color as well. Honestly, this could be a total outfit in and of itself, um, because it kind of looks like a skirt, the way that I have this um, tied. Last but not least, I really felt like trying to take a chance and I thought that these pants could have been super cool, especially for like a Halloween costume. But as you can see, I could not zip them up. I do have Spanx on. Um, but I don't know, I just really had high hopes for these pants, but they just weren't gonna work. But I did find this silk top as well. Didn't end up purchasing either one of them, but honestly, this could have been a super cool, like Harry Styles themed Halloween costume outfit idea. Just like, that's what I thought of immediately, but sadly it just didn't work out. But like, how cool are these pants, you guys? Like the movement and everything. I was so sad that they didn't work, but that is a little haul. All right, guys, so I just got out of Goodwill and I had a pretty good trip for the most part. I gotta say, really did like a lot of the pieces that I found. Um, I'm so sad about those flowy pants, even for like a Halloween costume, like that would have been such a cool idea, but it did not work out, but it's totally fine. But I ended up purchasing four things. I got the like cream off-white color blazer. I thought that that was super pretty and it was a really good quality as well. Um, all of them had shoulder pads in it, which I feel like was kind of iconic, but I I did really like that one a lot and then I also got the Chica sweater I thought that that was gonna be I felt like that was gonna be a perfect transition piece for the fall to winter months as well I just thought it would be really great for layering or like with jeans um, dress pants for work anything like that I thought it would be perfect and then I got this leopard print belt um, there as well because I thought that that would be just kind of like really fun to kind of jazz up a pair of jeans with it I typically don't like silver but I thought that the buckle was pretty cool so yeah that is what I got and then I also got one additional thing but it's for a friend and I don't want her to see this video before um, this goes live so yeah that is pretty much it that I found on today's little haul but I really hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys did please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel down below seriously helps me out so much and I'm very appreciative and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye